Hello. I found more Amanita muscarius gesawii. This time in the city neighboring Summers, Connecticut. That's Enfield. As you can see, uh, the other specimens, I forgot to check if the gills were unattached to the stem and it's indeed not attached. You can tell by this one. Sorta. I kind of broke it when I was bringing it here, but it's not attached to the stem. And the stem comes clean off, as you can see with these two specimens. As you can see, the base is bulls, Amanita, but he has concentric rings. One, two, three, four, five ish, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four ish. This one has a little bit less. Um, let's see over here. Definitely Amanita, or I should say, um, definitely all signs are pointing to Amanita muscaria, variety Gesawii, which is consistent with the fact that we are in New England right now, uh, specifically North Central Connecticut, bordering Massachusetts. You can see the rings better in this one. It's one, two, three, four, nice big old rings. All the warts, the orangish center there. There it is again. And it's kind of, uh, it's definitely white gills. I'm gonna take a spore print in this one. I didn't do with the uh, last, um, last uh, specimen. I'm gonna put this down so I can record it better. Look at that, you can observe it. A little bit better. I'm sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. There it is. I try to put them all in a way that we can see them. Um, different positions and different angles and different perspectives. I apologize for the video quality. It's not that good. I don't have a fancy microphone. I'll probably get one eventually because uh, foraging is pretty fun. I just happen to find these and they're pretty attractive and everyone knows it's pretty, it stands out pretty well, you know. It's kind of shouting, Hemanita genus, Muscarius species, and um, Gasawii variety. Um, I like to watch Learn Your Lend. Uh, Myco Geo has a good video. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing the channel names correctly. Um, which, which one? Oh yeah, Yellow Eleanor. Yellow Eleanor, she's a pretty down to earth view, view of things. Uh, I like her videos. I just think we should have more mushroom channels or mycology channels. You know? Um, yeah. There it is. Let's see this one. I'm sure there are more videos or more, I'm sorry. I'm sure there are more channels out there regarding mycology and mushroom foraging. Ooh, I almost forgot the Old Man of the Woods, which is a mushroom name, but also the channel that I like. It's this Asian, lovely Asian family. And uh, they're really good. He's really good at breaking things down. And I'm sure the, the wife helps with the um, research and, you know, finding names and 
and finding out and identifying which mushroom is what and it's it's really good I found them to be accurate um, with my research as well and I really appreciate their channel I wish learn your land would come around here for foraging he never comes to my area um, although Pennsylvania is like a seven hour drive I, I don't know you know oops sorry I have family you have to <laughs> I'm always working hard. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. So, this is re um, this is a relaxing time for me with my daughter. We go hiking trails and find cute flowers and plants and mushrooms and you know, I never walked into a bar to drink a drop of alcohol. Not that that's bad, but I just don't like those environments. I'm a church boy, and um, I think we are very mycophobic. As Paul Stamets would say, although although I don't fully agree with, you know, um, mind inducing things. If that's your thing, do what you gotta do. But um, I just love to look at them. I might try these. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see our preparation methods and stuff. What is that? Look at that. The flesh is yellowish, right? Yields are white and pinkish at an angle. All right, let's get a spore print started. I think we've got enough. Um, I think we've got enough footage of these beautiful, beautiful um, mushrooms. Look at that. <laughs> that's that's really pretty. I'm gonna inoculate them around my property. We have some pine trees here behind on the woods and some. Um, you know, spruce fir, and also I, I think they're um, sometimes more mycorrhizal relationship with con some conifers as well. Anyways, video length is getting kind of long, so thank you so much, guys. Bye. -bye.